What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Good news in the heavyweight division. Looks like David Hay is on board. He signs the contract to fight Tyson Fury. Now, this is a fight that has been in negotiations. It's a fight that's been talked about. Tyson Fury, as you guys know, he's very animated. He's a showman. He wants to be an entertainer. He's welcoming all challengers. He talks shit. He does the trash talking. And he's a big dude. David Hay is a former two-division champion. He's been in there with the likes of the Klitschkos. He looked good in his last fight. He's pondered retirement, but I guess decided to hang on and continue fighting. And this is a fight that's been in the making for quite some time. Um, as far as the heavyweight division, it seems to have gotten a little bit more interesting. Um, Seth Mitchell versus Jonathan Banks. That was pretty lackluster in my opinion. This is a fight that makes sense. And it's a fight that I would definitely watch. As far as the shining heavyweight stars, obviously the Klitschko's, David Hay, um, Tyson Fury. I would also say Deontay Wilder, although Wilder is a fighter who hasn't really been tested. He seems to be mowing through the guys they put in front of him, and he needs some stiffer competition. So this is a fighter that, um, a fight, excuse me, that I want to see. And then we have Tony Thompson. Uh, he just beat David Price two times in a row and proved it wasn't a fluke. So the heavyweight division is pretty shaken up, pretty interesting. David Hay versus Tyson Fury. I definitely would like to see this. Again, David Hay's already fought the Klitschko's. An opponent who is taller than him. He lost that fight. He complained about an injury on his foot. Um, he's older than Tyson Fury. He's more seasoned. He's been in there with... Um, stiffer competition I would say in his whole career Tyson Fury is the person who's a little bit beyond prospect and people still have questions about him so I feel this fight will answer a lot of questions Tyson Fury battled adversity in his last fight with uh, Cunningham Cunningham knocked him down in the second round he rallied that storm and then just threw attrition wear and tear on Cunningham's body just being the smaller person someone who moved up from cruiserweight to heavyweight he was not able to last, and I believe in the seventh round, Tyson Fury knocked out Cunningham. Um, so, again, this is a this is a fight to really gauge where Tyson Fury is. Um, Rigondeaux had his moment with Nonito Donaire. He was saying he was the best. We all knew he had an amateur pedigree, and that was the fight that really solidified that he has talent, that he's special. Um, Adrian Broner had some tests like Antonio DeMarco to see if he was the real deal. Most recently, Pauli Malignaggi. That was a good um, barometer type fight. And to me, this is Tyson Fury's barometer fight. So he can really gauge where he's at. David Hay is not a walkover opponent. He's an opponent that looked good in his last fight. He's someone with power. And he's more seasoned than Tyson Fury. So I'm anxious to see this. David Hay I also posted a video on Instagram. Um, that's what this picture is, and it was a it was a video of him signing the contract. He says Tyson Fury is probably going to duck him to fight Tony Thompson, and he signed the contract on his end, so the ball is in Tyson Fury's court, and that's basically what's being waited on. But I guess they renegotiated the contract. David Hay signed. He's on board to fight in Manchester, and they're awaiting Tyson Fury's signature. Hopefully this does happen. This fight would take place in September. It looks like September is going to be an awesome month for boxing. There's a lot of good fights. Um, obviously Canelo and Mayweather. They're talking about making Danny Garcia, Lucas Matisse. Um, among other fights, there's some other good fights. I can't think of all of them off the top of my head. But I know September has uh, quite a few fights that are they're negotiating or, or trying to make. So looks like a good month of boxing. I want to see it. David Hay, Tyson Fury. Let me know what your thoughts are. Who wins this one? How does it play out? Um, if I had to make an early prediction, I would put my money on David Hay. Tyson Fury, again, getting knocked down by a smaller Cunningham. That showed me that there's a level of vulnerability. And you can easily say styles make fights, but David Hay is a big dude. He's a full-fledged heavyweight and... I would say he has more power than Cunningham. Cunningham at cruiserweight was not known as a devastating puncher, and he was able to floor Tyson Fury in the second round when 
both fighters should be relatively fresh. Now, you could argue that Tyson Fury may have underestimated Cunningham, but um, it is what it is. He still got knocked down. And then he's going up against, again, a David Hay who's a lot more seasoned, a lot bigger than um, Cunningham. And you have to gauge a fighter by their last fights as well as their whole career. And I think David Hay has done more in the sport in the heavyweight division. Um, he's been tested. I mean, he went the distance with a Klitschko, who, in my opinion, is eons above where Tyson Fury is. Tyson Fury, to me, he beats guys. I'm not going to say he doesn't have heart, but he's a big dude. And just from the leaning on him, wearing on him, and taking punches from a much bigger person, that's going to take its toll, especially if you're not conditioned to go all 12 rounds. So skill-wise, I would give it to David Hay. Experience-wise, I would give it to David Hay. And I think David Hay is a more solid puncher than Cunningham. And we've seen Cunningham did some damage in the second round. So early prediction, I would lean towards David Hay. And let me know what you guys think. As always, hey, comment or subscribe. Till next videos. Ego, signing off.